What's up everybody, Art the Pirate here, and today I'm going to go over the version 43 patch notes. Now this is an actual huge patch, so I'm going to kind of speed through things as quickly as possible. First, let's go over the hero changes. Now Aurora is getting a couple of things changed, a couple of animations. First, her glacial charge. The cast speed has been increased and it no longer briefly delays before beginning the dash, so it will allow her to either escape or catch up faster. Horror Frost cast speed has been increased, and the radius has been increased from 400 to 450 units. Cryosism's cast speed has been increased. The initial application radius has been increased from 700 to 850, which is a significant increase but the secondary explosion size has remained the same. Bellica's seismic assault's damage has been decreased from 88, 140, 192, and 246 to 82, 129, 176, and 222. And the power scaling has been decreased as well from 1.88 to 1.67. Durango's shrapnel cannon has now been changed to where the knockback knocks you in the correct direction. Instead, if you were at kind of the edge of the range, it would knock you in a random direction. That's been changed. And Old Rusty has now been changed to where it will bounce off of Steel's Bulwark instead of it just being absorbed. Gideon's slow is being increased from 100 to 150. He's getting a movement in speed increase from 680 to 690, base health increase from 554 to 566, health gain per level from 57.4 to 61.1, base health regen from 0.92 to 0.94, and basic defense per level from 1.9 to 2.3. Grim's Deflector Shield is now going to cost zero mana, and he gets an increase of base health from 592 to 633, increase health per level from 60.8 to 63.3, increase base health regen from 1.99 to 1.6 or 1.06, and he's getting a couple of minor bug fixes. Grux is getting a improvement to his basic attack animation, and he's getting a couple of tweaks to his smash and grab to make it a more reliable ability. Iggy and Scorch is getting a nerf finally. Flame Turret's health is being reduced from 220, 380, 540, and 700 down to 220, 360, 500, and 640. So every level it's going down 20 health which that might really help out burning sensation base damage is being reduced from 35 58 82 and 105 to 28 47 66 and 84 power scaling is being reduced from 0.84 to 0.66 health gain per level is being decreased from 68.6 to 62.6 and a bug fix on his mauled off Quang is getting radius increases for two abilities. Judgment of Heavens is being increased from 250 to 350, and Fury of Heavens is being increased from 500 to 700. Narbash's Song of My People's regen is being reduced from 24, 36, 48, and 60 to 20, 30, 40, 50. Crash Bang Boom is being reduced for damage as well as power scaling. The damage is going from 351 to 322 for that base level. And the reduced scaling is down from 5.22 to 4.6. Severog is getting some much needed love. His base health is being increased from 647 to 671. His base health regen is being increased from 1.8 to 1.12. Soul stacking is being reduced from 20, 50, 90, and 140 to 10, 30, 60, and 100. So I think he will be a much viable hero in the future, and he still caps out at 200 souls. Steel is getting a bit of a rework. Bull Rush is going to be removed. His new ability is called Shield Bash. Steel strikes an enemy with the shield, causing 81 
17, 146, and 176 damage in a small area. And enemies hit by a shield are stunned for half a second. It costs 70 mana, and the cooldown is 9876 per level. Shield Slam now has a shorter range, but an increased AoE. The range goes from 900 to 850, but the AoE is 550 from 500, so it still reaches the same distance, you just cannot jump as far. Bulwark has, the cooldown has been reduced from 18 to 14 seconds, and he's getting a reduction in mana from 276 to 262, and a reduced mana region from 1.32 to 1.27. Phase is also getting some much needed love. Her energy lance is getting a damage increase from 80 at base level to 100, and at max level it's 200 to 250. Total power scaling is being increased from 1.43 to 1.78. Psychic Flare cooldown is being reduced from 10 seconds down from 12. Telekinetic Link is increased healing from 12, 18, 24, and 30 for 4 seconds to 16, 24, 32, and 40 for 4 seconds. She is also getting an increase in health per level from 59.3 to 61.8. Mana per level from 24 to 27, mana region per level from 0.08 to 0.09, and she's getting a bug fix. Revnet's Reckoning bounty increase is now going from 6, 8, and 1,000 gold to 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000 gold. He's getting an attack speed per level increase from 2.5 to 4, and this will also reduce his reload time. So, hopefully this will bring Revenant back. His reload just is not in a good place. It makes him one of the harder carries to sync up well with in version 42. Faye is no longer going to be restricted when casting Bramble Patch, and it's width increase from 160 to 200. Flytrap's radius is now getting an increase as well from... 530 to 575. Twin Blast Rocket Dash cooldown is being increased from 4 seconds to 5 seconds. Rapid Fire is damage is being reduced from 30, 35, 40, and 45% to 25, 30, 35, and 40%. And reduced minion damage from 45 to 40%. Wraith's Knock Knock mana cost is being reduced by 20 mana per level, so from 90 to 70, and so on. And he's also getting a basic damage per level increase from 2.2 to 3.1, health gain per level from 61.2 to 66.1, base mana increase from 312 to 332, and base mana regen from 1.44 to 1.15. Yin's Lash Kick range is being incre increased from 750 to 850. She's getting a movement speed increase from 690 to 705 and base armor from 1.8 to 2 per level. Lastly, Zinc's Dirty Healing is being changed. Rebalance Bonus Mana Region is being changed from 3, 4, and 5% to 3.5% at all levels. Increased mana cost per health gained from 1.8 and 0.6 per level to 1.1, 1, 1, and 0.9 per level. So that basically means the more damage you're doing, the less she's healing, and the more mana it's costing. She's also getting a couple of general balances. Health gain per level is being reduced from 46.8 to 43.1. Base health regen is being reduced from 9, 0.96 to 0.94. Health regen per level is being reduced from 0.1 to 0.07. Now the last kind of hero things that are happening in version 43 is the face models for Sparrow, Muriel, and Bellica are being changed. And there's a couple of other animation fixes with Iggy, Iggy and Scorch, Murdoch, and Kalari. So, you know, it's just a couple of minor little visual things that are being changed. 
Well, that's gonna kind of wrap it up for the hero changes that are happening in version 43. I'm going to come out with another video for the economy and game mode changes and everything like that. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. It should come out, you know, within a few hours of this video. And, you know, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, show me some love, leave me a comment, think about subscribing, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.